Facing Waves is brought to you in part by BIC SUP, world leader in stand-up paddleboards. Welcome back to Facing Waves and our journey through Ireland's Wild Atlantic Way. Culturally rich and stunningly beautiful, the Wild Atlantic Way also offers a huge variety of outdoor adventure activities, including world-class kiteboarding. So we hooked up with one of Ireland's top water athletes, Jade O'Connor, to show us the ropes. Kite surfing is uh, an incredibly diverse sport, uh, like paddle sports. Um, I liken it quite a lot to cycling because you have road racing and that's about sort of putting down long distances on very fragile, very fast bikes and that's kind of the discipline I do, racing. Um, a lot of racing is about trying to go really as quickly as you can. Um, so it's about getting as much power off the kite and driving that down. Nikki and the guys dropped in on one of my training sessions uh, and it was really awesome to, to show them around uh, how it works. This is going to be awesome. Yeah. We're in Kilkee in uh, County Clare. It's a perfect day. We've got some sunshine. So uh, maybe we do some kiting and then okay. you might show me some tricks on your stuff later. This morning I met Jade O'Connor and she's a professional kiteboarder. I got a chance to work with her for a couple hours this morning and learn a little bit about kiting and what she does. I think she's ranked like eighth in the world as far as kiting is, goes. So it was really cool to be able to learn from her and meet another woman who is very focused and strong and committed in her sport. It was a little bit too windy today to uh, actually have Nikki uh, out on the board. So we just st we stayed on the beach and showed her the, the basics of safety systems and how the kite works. It's quite a, an amazing experience because you really feel that you're hooked into this, uh, this massive power source that could trash you at any time. All right, so hook in. Yeah. Get that finger. Little finger. Okay, I'm walking back and we need to get tension on the line. Today was just a little bit too windy and not safe enough for me to go out. So this gave me the motivation to go back home and continue learning and learn how to kite. And maybe Jade can come over and join me and give me a few more lessons. Don't let go. Okay. Don't let go, we'll tell you. <laughs> I totally feel the wind catching the kite. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> How's that oh, feel? Hold on, there we go. Ah, okay, so you're ready. I we're feel gonna, the power. Okay, so now you're going to come <laughs> forward and we're going to let the kite go back down. Okay. Nikki was awesome. She was uh, really well up to try uh, uh, kiteboarding and, and learn a bit about it. And it was a great honour for me to show such a, an accomplished athlete who has come all the way to Ireland. Watching her take her kite out <laughs> and her board in the nuking wind this morning and just make it look so easy, I was really impressed. So Jade, this morning you showed me a taste of what your passion is in life as far as sports. And now I just want to take you out and show you what I love to do. One of the great beauties of, of Ireland is uh, it's so diverse. It's rugged and absolutely stunningly beautiful. But the great thing is that you just go around a corner a little bit and all of a sudden you're into flat water and you're out of the wind. You can always find those little coves. When you step on a sup, you see the water around you in a completely different way, and that's pretty exciting. You get to look at the scenery, you get to look at the, the water, the character of the water, the wildlife, uh, the fish around you, the textures, and the colours and the light, and that's really, it's really awesome. So in, in many ways I feel that sup has helped me rediscover another side of what I love most, which is the ocean and the sea. Get out of the way to make some room for you. I'll get out of the way.